and welcome to my channel. My name's Samantha. This is the Budget Mum UK. Today we're going shopping on a budget and making some new, delicious, tasty recipes which are full of good nutrients, full of delicious vegetables, some hidden vegetables, and are packed full of flavour. If you didn't already know, I used to own a 120 seater restaurant, which means I know how to create, provide some delicious, fantastic family meals, which are really delicious, but without having to spend too much money. I cook on a budget, but still provide the taste. That is my concept behind my meals. So come with me. We're going to go to Asda. I'm giving myself 40 pounds. Let's see what we can do with this today. Come on. And I avoided Asda previously because when I started doing these kinds of videos, I did Asda as a second visit. I did Tesco first and then did Asda. And I'll be honest, I found Asda more expensive than Tesco's, which I wasn't genuinely wasn't expecting. But I've still managed to get some really nice food, some really tasty ingredients. And some areas I still think were a bit more expensive. So this could probably be done even cheaper. But, you know, people shop at Asda, so I thought I'd come up with these ideas for you. Right, we're going to go down, we're going to go and check out the ingredients, and then I'm going to put together my menu plan. So in order to keep costs down, I reuse quite a lot of the ingredients. So it might be that I'll have leftovers for the day after, or that I try and bulk buy the same kind of ingredient. So A, to avoid food waste, and B, just for practicality purposes. And then also just keep the cost down. So for example, if I buy a bag of onions, I'm gonna try and use lots of recipes that utilize the onions within a short space of time. That way you're getting more bang for your buck. You're getting uh, a bit more cost effective. And I think really in today's climate, this is what we're gonna to have to do a lot more of going forward. So come and check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna to put together, first of all, the shopping list of everything that I've bought. And as I go through them, um, I'm gonna speed it up as I do it, just so you, you don't have to stress about that. You can slow it down, pause it, whatever you wanna do. But I will, of course, put the full plan in the comment section and the prices that I paid as well. So you've got it there if you wanna do the full shopping list. And then I'm gonna slow it down and I'll talk to you about the meal plan and where I'm gonna get those ingredients from. So some nice little pictures, so you get a nice little idea of everything and what it could look like and talk to you about the ingredients. I try and keep the ingredients really quite to a minimum so it's easy. As a single working parent myself, I know what it's like. You look it if you get a decent meal in a week. So <laughs> that's what I'm up to. Let's check this out.
Okay, so this is my shopping list. I've even managed to get in some bars of uh, chocolate area, the aero, the big family size one, and a big bag of popcorn for a movie night. I'm thinking for the weekend. So let's check out what my menu plan is for the week. I always start with my dinner just because that's the easiest one. And then that tends to feed into my lunches. For breakfast for the week, I'm looking at overnight oats. I usually throughout the week, I think. And then we'll maybe do some pancakes for the weekend when I've got a bit more time with those eggs and the flour. Um, and I'll also, if I make a big enough batter for the pancakes, that will then feed in to Monday night tea, which is gonna to be towed in the hole. Now I've got a selection of vegetables, so you can just mix up whatever you want to go with for that. Um, depends what you like. If you want to get some beans, extra, I hadn't bought those in. But for example, you could have carrots, you could have your, your peas, there's lots of there in a frozen bag. Whatever your family likes really. So I'm just going to put the main meal as itself. So that's just going to be made up of the from the sausages, frozen sausages, and the batter for the pancakes. Quite easy, quite quick, quite simple to do, and it's a favourite with children, definitely. So here we're going to have a Tuesday. It can be quite busy when I'm working, so I'm going to put my sticky honey chicken. Now this can go in the slow cooker, so you can put it in in the morning and then it's ready. Really, really simple to do. Pop it in with some of the chicken thighs are in there. We're going to add in some of the coarse grain mustard, some of the honey, you can add in some of the chicken stock, however you might make that up. And then if you want to bulk it out a little bit more, you could add in some of the creme fraiche as well. So it's just really nice and sweet. Of course, a bit of salt and black pepper. Really, really delicious. That goes good with, with anything really. If you like rice or if you want it with uh, potatoes or mash, it's really, really nice. Put in some carrot batons with there because we've got quite a big bag here. So we don't need too much of it. We're going to use some of it anyway for the curry later on that I'm going to be making later in the week. So let's go with the chicken and pea tagliatella here. Again, another really, really simple and quick one to do. Only a few ingredients. And then again, so you're just going to be using some of the chicken thighs. You can dice those up as much or as little as you like. Cook those off. Then if you can do your tagliatelle in some stock water, use some of the stock water, keep some to one side because that's going to make this meal a little bit more unctuous. Cook some of the frozen peas in with the chicken, add in some more of that creme fraiche as well. A little bit of chicken stock goes really well with this. If you've got other vegetables you want to use up, really goes ideally with some broccoli. I was tempted to get broccoli and make that as part of another meal that I'm going to be doing next, but um, I just stuck with this for the budget for now. That's another delicious one that the children love. So and then we're going to go on Friday night with fajitas. And the reason I like fajitas is because you can make your own. So all you have to do is just cook the ingredients and then I like spreading it out on the table. Give everyone a wrap or two wraps. They can put in as much chicken as they want, as many of the peppers that they want, onions that they want. If they want to make it spicy, they can add some more spice in there. Whatever they want to do. Um... DIY I'm going to call them and then it's just a night where I don't have to stress too much I just have to do most of it can go in the oven pull it out throw it on the table easy peasy I'm not entirely sure why I missed Thursdays out there but we're going to go with a sweet potato and bean quesadillas which is made from the frozen uh, sweet potato game changer amazing some of the taco mixed bean um, in a tin, 60p, absolute bargain. And again, you can spice those up if you want them to. Add in some of this grated mozzarella. They come in a good deal. A bit of the cheddar as well, if they like it like that. If you don't like the beans, you can just switch that out. Put it in with just the che cheese. That'd be absolutely fine. But really, you can probably get away with hiding some of them in there. And again, it's something that's fun that children will like to do. Then Saturday and Sunday, we've got a little bit more time. So veg curry. But again, this is great because you can put it in the slow cooker so you can go out for the day that savory rice is a bargain for a pouch but get two of those pouches veg curry again make it whatever you want for me i'd be putting in some of the baby potatoes the carrots some of the cauliflower some of the sweet potatoes some frozen spinach and then i've got on here the curry paste now corn of curry paste and tin tomatoes 
goes great, which is what I've budgeted for and planned for. But you switch it up however you like that. Again, keep it quite easy, keep it quite simple, very healthy. And then finally on Sunday, I've put down a ham and pea frittata because this is delicious cold as well as hot. So I'm going to use some of this for lunch. So that could be made on the Sunday. I tend to plan and then start to cook here and then everything else feeds in. Hope that makes sense. Um, leftovers. Uh, and then again, everything else will sort of feed in as well. So something like the uh, quesadillas can go here. Leftovers. Doesn't work for everything. But this veg curry is really nice. Again, a couple of days later, uh, veg curry. And there's always something left over. You can make it as big as you want with all those vegetables. So that's always really good. We're going to have quite a lot of ham. So I might do some ham and cheese wraps on a couple of those days. And definitely, I think, on Thursday, just because I know how busy I am. That's why I bought, I put down two packets of the ha of the wraps because they're just um, they're really handy. It's like eight in a pack, so you have 16 wraps. And again, if I don't plan for it, those are the kind of things that just, just go off before you've even finished it. So earlier on in the week, we've got the overnight oats, which will go all the way through this week because it's just easier to do. You can mix them together with a bit of um, the oats, the blueberries, some of the creme fraiche or milk if you'd rather. Or what you could actually do is add in an egg and you can make a type of pancake, which sometimes I like to do. Same ingredients, the oats, egg, blueberries, mix them all together, make a pancake if you've got time. I don't always have time, so I just make it into an overnight oats. And then we've got our lunches here on Saturday and Sunday where again, I've got a little bit more time. So I might do a um, pizza, which I use for the uh, tortillas. And again, you can use whatever leftovers we've got on there, some onions, some cheese tomatoes, whatever else you like on yours. And then on Sunday, we're going to go ahead and do a, might have actually some of the veg curry leftovers. I might make a double batch of that just because it's easy enough to do, especially when you're cooking something like a ham and potato pea for data. That means Saturday and Sunday, we have got chocolate and popcorn. Yay, for a movie night. I always like it when you've got room for snacks like that in a budget. And that's it. I hope you found it useful. If you have, if you like anything that you've seen, then I'd absolutely love it if you hit that subscribe button, hit that like bell icon as well, just so you know every single time I upload a video. And of course, if you want any of the planning documents, they are available on my Etsy store as a download or I can post those out to you as well. But if not, just a random piece of scrap paper will do. Planning is the key to success. Absolutely. <sighs> Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you really soon. Bye.